Good morning from London, I'm Adis Kabash, and these are some of your top stories at this hour. In one of his final official acts in office, President Trump granted clemency to dozens of people early Wednesday, including his former strategist Steve Bannon, rapper Lil Wayne, Republican fundraiser Elliot Brody, and former Detroit Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick. Trump had discussed preemptively pardoning himself and associates, but some advisors had cautioned the president against what would have been an unprecedented action, according to people familiar with the matter. This week, we inaugurate a new administration and pray for its success in keeping America safe and prosperous. Trump wished President-elect Biden's administration success in a farewell address Wednesday, a rare gesture of goodwill towards his successor. Trump will break with more than a century of tradition and leave the nation's capital before the inauguration ceremony. And so it's deeply personal that our next journey to Washington starts here. Presidents like Joe Biden arrived in Washington on Tuesday, the eve of his inauguration, with the usual backdrop of celebrations replaced by a military lockdown. Roughly 25,000 National Guard soldiers have been deployed across Washington following riots in the Capitol. Biden and Vice President-elect Harris visited a temporary memorial for the 400,000 Americans killed by COVID-19, the world's worst death toll. <laughs> In addition to the 400,000 death record in the US, another record was hit in Germany. The number of fatalities increased by 1,734 people in 24 hours, bringing the total to almost 49,000. The UK also reported its highest daily death toll, as data suggested one in eight people in England have had the disease, taking the total number of deaths to more than 90,000.